Welcome to Little Data Courses. In this video, we're going to talk about tracking Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 in parallel. J4 is the hot topic this year, with Universal Analytics being sunset in July 2023 and GA4 replacing it. With Little Data, you can send data directly through to both Universal and GA4. We recommend adding a GA4 property now, but not to rely on it entirely while Google irons out some of the kinks. We recommend continuing to use Universal Analytics and GA4 in parallel until at least early 2023. The sooner you start sending data to GA4, the better. By getting started now, your team will have an additional year's worth of historical data in GA4 to do year-on-year -year analysis in the future. This also means that you will be able to explore GA4 while still having accurate and actionable data in Universal Analytics. This includes enhanced e-commerce reports, lifetime value reporting, and subscription analytics. There are a lot of differences in the platforms, and some of the most notable ones are the interface has changed, and that means a new UI designed to showcase customer behavior through key events and out-of-the-box capability to track those events without requiring setup through Google Tag Manager. You'll also be able to see that the reports have changed. You might notice that some of the reports like sales performance are no longer found in Google Analytics 4. Don't worry, we'll show you how to set those up. Universal Analytics is based on sessions and page views, while Google Analytics 4 is based on events and parameters, which means there are no session or hit-based limitations. You'll notice that there's a measurement ID instead of a UA ID. Universal Analytics focused heavily on different views. Users would set up unfiltered views and test views. Google Analytics 4 does not have views, but rather it has data streams, and that's used to measure both web and app interactions to snapshot the effectiveness of each of your marketing efforts. There is a data export from Google Analytics 4 to BigQuery. One of the main things to remember about Google Analytics 4 is it's super customizable. You can create and customize a lot of the reports based on your needs and what data you're looking to see in the reports. If you don't have Google Analytics 4 connected yet, and you already have the Little Data app, it's as easy as navigating to your Little Data account. You'll open up the data pipeline settings and add in the measurement ID and the measurement protocol API secret in. We even have instructions on how you can find that. That's all you have to do and you'll have that data now flowing into your GA4 property as well. That means you'll be tracking everything in parallel. If you don't have the Little Data app connected, you can start a 30-day free trial directly on the Shopify App Store under Little Data Analytics. The install process is quick and easy and on one of the first steps, it'll allow you to choose to send data to GA4 and Universal Analytics in parallel. Once you finish the setup, you'll be on your way to more accurate data. We've also launched GA4 Focus videos to help you set up the reports that many users used in Universal Analytics. This includes reports like the Sales Performance Report, the Shopping Behavior Report, and the Source Medium Report, as well as many other reports. Let us know in the comments what your biggest concerns with GA4 are, and as always, happy exploring!